<laughs> oh, sorry, excuse me, excuse me for laughing so straight away. I'm just laughing at a, a, a comedy sketch I've watched by Chris Rock. Now, if you haven't seen this sketch for yourself, he talks about the difference between men and women, and he says that a woman can't go back materially, and a man a man can't go back sexually. So it, it, let's uh, sum up what he said if you haven't seen the sketch. If a woman's been used to dating a guy who has a car and the uh, comforts of material life, she can't go back to a guy who hasn't got a car and hasn't got the material stuff to uh, present to her as such. But a man, in a man's case, if he's had the misfortune of being used to a lazy lover, the, the usual complaint us guys have, a woman who doesn't, can, who doesn't give any blow jobs, doesn't give any hand jobs, expect you to do all the work all the time. You know the usual complaint, right? And then um, you you come across a woman who's the exact opposite. She she works your body like an aircraft engineer. She touches you in the right places. She dresses up in sexy underwear. She likes making home videos and stuff. She's quite adventurous, right? So he said, so once you've been with a woman like that, you can't go back to the lazy lover. And that's why I was laughing so much because that is so, so true. Yeah, and he said, don't be angry at the man. <laughs> be angry at his ex. Be angry at the woman who's introduced him to that. Because it's so fucking true, though. It is so true. Yes, I'm a, I know on a, on a way it sounds shallow because, listen, I am fully aware of the difference between sex and making love. And I'm fully aware of the higher level of a relationship. If you're in a higher level of a relationship, this, what I'm talking about doesn't count because you know each other and you're 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 into each other. So if she doesn't, if you don't go down on her, or she doesn't go down on you, and you've got that that connection, that bond because you love each other and you're making love, it it's not really a, it's not really an issue. So I am aware of that side, but I'm not talking about that side, right? Because that's that's when you're in love with each other. Okay, so that's a different different day, different month, different year. So today we are today it's it's Monday and we're talking about the erotic, right? We're talking about the erotic side. <laughs> Oh god man can't go back sexually. Oh boy, it is just so so freaking true. And um re the reason why it's touched me so is because um I'm enjoying see in, in, I'm enjoying my single life and um <laughs> single life as in I'm I'm not committed I'm not in a committed relationship. I'm not in love with anybody. I'm not. I am not committed. I, um, friends with benefits, yes, I do, but um, I'm not in love with anybody. Right now, <laughs> here's the situation. Uh, I I've been used to some some adventurous um, ladies in the past, you know, and. Um, and um, <laughs> and I've come across some lazy lovers who want commitment. They want commitment, but they want commitment with their lazy loving. And if, I'll be fucking damned if I'm going to give them that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still laughing at Chris Rocks. Sorry, compose yourself, compose yourself, compose yourself. And what's worse for me, if you don't know already, I've mentioned this in various videos. Uh, sadly, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer a little while ago. I've had the operation, the radical prostatectomy operation, and um, which means it takes between 18 months to two years for you to get your natural erection back. So I'm still in the recovery stage. There's light at the end of the tunnel, I'm happy to say. But during this time, um, I need as much... Um, What's the word I'm looking? I need as much. Sure. Why? Why? Hey, why? Hey, why does when words escape me like this? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, anyway, for my recovery, blood flow is very important. So stimulation, stimulation, stimulation. I need as much stimulation as possible to aid with my recovery. So if I come across 
if and when I come across a lazy lover, it, it doesn't really it doesn't really help me because I'm not really turned on. I'm not really getting the blood flow to help me with my it's my um, <laughs> recovery. So luckily for me, um, I have I have my um, tablet that's full of porn. And and that and that does the job for me. Basically, basically that 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 um, reaches a part that the lazy lovers can't reach. So so it's good in a way, and it's bad in another way because um, if I don't meet uh, an adventurous partner again, I, I might be looking at a lifelong. <laughs> <laughs> I might be looking at life with my tablets, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I don't think that's a bad thing. But, um, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm being really pathetic. I do apologise. I, I do apologise for my silly, childish behaviour. I do apologise. I just find it so funny when he said about a man can't go back sexually. Yeah, so um, I just, just found that really funny. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. So in one sense, in one sense... In one sense, I'm content with the the lifestyle I have, but the other side, I kind of a little bit concerned because I'm thinking, am I a relationship write off? Has my has my excitement bar been risen too high thanks to the adventurous women I've met in the past? You catch my drift, but um, I'm not really worried about it. I'm, I'm sort of. I'm kind of being light-hearted about it and silly about it at the same time. I understand I am being silly at the moment. And, um, well, life, you know what I mean? Come on, man, come on, life. we got to be... you got to have a time where you can be silly in your life. Anyway, but um, I just thought I'd share... Ch check out Chris Rock's um, comedy sketch and um, you'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, I better go. Um, I've got things to do. <laughs> see you, bye.